Hello everybody, this is Leonard54 and I hope everyone is having a great Memorial Day so far. I wanted to take a, just a couple seconds before I started this video to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day and to thank all the troops out there because without them, we wouldn't be able to make stupid veteran videos like we do all the time on this channel. So I wanted to just uh, hope everyone has a great Memorial Day. Now I'm going to Dallas Comic Con this weekend. I'm not sure if it's going to be Friday uh, and Saturday and Sunday, but I know for sure on May 30th, I'm going to Dallas Comic Con at the Dallas Convention Center, uh, pretty much just walking the, down the street from me, which is really cool, so I'm very excited about that. But there's one caveat that's about a little different. I'm not just going as Leonhard54 in my handsome form right now. I'm actually going to go as Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Um, I decided uh, about a month ago that I wanted to go as Cloud Strife. Now, I was Cloud Strife as a... Uh, back in 2007 in college and it was awesome i had the buster sword i had the actual great outfit and i made everything from scratch that was the best part of it um i lost everything as part of the costume um other than my buster sword which i still have and you're gonna see later on in this video but instead of just doing uh, one video out of nowhere when i'm there at dallas comic-con doing like a vi video log or something i decided i wanted to do a uh video series um, kind of going on to how I'm making the costume all the way to where I'm prepared to going and then all the way to where I'm already there and then back and kind of reviewing how everything went but I just know it's gonna be a fun ride I hope all of you are watching this stick around for the ride and we're gonna go through making the costume right now so enjoy now before we actually get into the making of the costume I uh, wanted to show you what I actually look like as Kraut Strife uh, before so I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what look like before I don't know if it's gonna be like right here or right here not really sure but take a look at it that's what it looked like before um, it looked much better when it was dark out but I promise you uh, it did look good so now we're gonna go into uh, a few things of what's involved with the costume or at least my new costume so I'm gonna get them right here this is not a dead animal this is actually the wig that I'm gonna be wearing and I'm not gonna put it on yet, but I mean, if you see a picture of what he looks like in the like in the Advent Children game and stuff, which is the costume uh, version that I'm gonna be doing, this is exactly what uh, his hair looks like. So this is really good. Ordered off of Amazon, yay Amazon. Uh, I'm actually gonna be doing some sewing. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit later where and why. And here, no, I am not turning emo. These are actually all the belts and stuff. And on his Advent Children costume, which he looks the best, I think, he's pretty emo, but we're not going to be. We're still going to actually try to do the costume as much as possible. So I went to a Buffalo Exchange, a great store, which has a duff, it's like a thrift store, and I got all the stuff there. Um, now, it wasn't the cheapest, but it was still pretty good, so I'm very excited. This is at Party City. Got some giant woman gloves. But no one will know that, right? Because they look like perfectly for the costume because he wears gloves as well. I got right here, these are some like blue cargo pants that uh, um, I guess I can put a picture on this video somewhere or occasionally so you can kind of compare to what it's going to be actually looking like. So I got blue cargo pants right here. And then I'm hoping, I couldn't find an exact color of the blue for what he has, but it can go in variations. But I think the most important part for his main chest piece, which is like a blue wool sweater neck zip line thing that the sleeves are cut off. Um, I found this. And it has like a huge zip line right there. So I'm very happy that I got like the zip line place. This thing can stick out and no, you're not like a douchebag where you're, you're pop collar. That's just how the costume has it. So that's how I'm going to go. But the end result is going to look amazing as far as cutting off the sleeves and stuff like this. But what I want to do with the sewing is this. Now, I couldn't find like an arm plate or anything like that. Um, on his like arm and it's covered and stuff. So I'm kind of going to have to do in a little cutting and sewing. This is just a bed sheet but it's a nice navy blue one and I'm gonna be cutting it putting it on my arm and then sewing it to that sweater actually so I've never sewn before so this will be very very interesting but now let's get to the coup de gras of the entire costume so now what you're seeing on screen is the actual buster sword that I used in my 2007 costume this thing is huge 
I don't remember the exact amount of feet that it is, but you can see that it's taller than myself and it's almost as tall as this doorway right here. Uh, I'll actually show you in about two seconds what it looks like when I uh, am actually holding it up. Well, now that you've seen the components of what the costume's actually going to look like, stay tuned to the next video a little bit later this week when I update more on how the process is going of actually putting the costume together, maybe get a little bit sneak peek of the whole costume of what it look like itself, and the coup de grace of the entire thing is myself actually going to Dallas Comic Con, interacting with all the people that are there, all the other costumes, and just having a grand old time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Leonard 54 Please leave a like, comment below on what you liked about the video. And until next time, I'll see y'all in my next video.